welcome back and uh, this video is going to be about depression and anxiety and um, I fall into this category I um, I wanted to do a video on goals and dreams and you know at this age 50 years old you want to make sure that you are doing the things in life that you've always hoped and dreamed that you could, but sometimes we have to look back at our life and go, well, what's stopping me? You know, what has stopped me? And you always have to look inward for that because you are the only thing getting in your way of achieving any of your dreams and any of your goals, and it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, so I have had a recent incident that, um, I think was really the rock bottom for me as far as depression goes. And I, I can think all the way back years and years and years ago. It started actually when I moved to Florida, um, going to school. That was my first depressive episode. And I was very, very depressed and very sad. I didn't want to move. I had dreams and um, visions of, of how I wanted my life to be and moving out of that town and moving to Florida and starting all over again and having to meet new people and it was hard and that was my first um, depressive episode. I call it depressive episode because I've never been um, diagnosed but that would be the very very first one and I remember it was a really good friend who moved into the neighborhood and she changed everything. Um, at the time, I wasn't even wearing... <laughs> I don't want all my videos to have crying in them and I wore minimal makeup today because I knew this was gonna be a really hard one to talk about. But um, she moved into the neighborhood and she changed everything for me. I mean, I didn't wear makeup, I was wearing t-shirts and jeans, I just, I was so depressed. And she came into my life, and she, she really was an angel. And I've told her that, so she knows. And, you know, I talk about that in my videos, you gotta tell people what they mean to you. And um, she was fighting her own battles that I knew nothing about, and I was surprised to find out. And I guess in a way I was there for her too. So I'm really just trying to get to the point that it's important to do something if something is not right. And years went on and what would happen is there would be a major incident in my life, you know, breaking up with a, a relationship or moving or losing a job or graduating from college or all these big major life events would crop up and um, I would find myself uh, in this depressive cycle, just a continual cycle. Well, now that I'm older, I'm noticing that they're happening more and more and more frequently and it doesn't take a life-changing event. It can be just having a bad day at work or a bad few days at work or a bad vacation. And something happened recently where I was supposed to be part of um, a trip, a girl's trip. And, um, you know, I had just come out of a, a vacation and it was one of the worst vacations we'd ever gone on. And it just took me down. And I was the one who suggested this girl's trip. And I just couldn't go. I just couldn't get on a plane. I just couldn't deal with my, my depression. And I was sitting outside this morning and I was thinking to myself, you know, I, I try to create this healthy lifestyle for myself because I've been wanting to lose weight and I've been struggling with losing weight and I can't figure out what it is. And if you ever watch any of those shows on TV, there's always a psychological reason. And this depressive episode in conjunction with wanting to do a video about goals and dreams, I realized that I have this pattern of depressive episodes and depressive behavior my entire life. And last night, <clears throat> you know, I, I like to go to the shooting range 
And so there is a gun in the house and I actually, when I'm home alone, I keep it with me. And it occurred to me that my man, when I'm home alone and he's at work, he calls me several times throughout the day. And I think I know why. Because last night I had a suicidal thought. And it was just a thought. But it was scary and I can remember it. In the last 10 years, I've had three that I can remember. In conjunction with the trip, not showing up, not following through with my commitment, I realize I have a serious problem, one that I need to address. <laughs> What's funny is, I think it was two years ago, I went to the doctor and I, I didn't come out and say it in so many words. And that's what you have to do when you go and see a doctor. And I, I sort of blamed it on um, hormones. And, you know, she did what she could. She, she took me through a whole hormone check, everything. I, she sat there and talked to me for like an hour and listened. I love my doctor. I really do. And I don't want to blame her. But I never came out and said, I am depressed. I go through these cycles where I'm just depressed and I don't know what it is because I have nothing in my life to be depressed about, but I just am. And I cannot figure it out. And I set goals for myself and I do really well and then I get a depressive, depressive episode and it just all falls apart. And then I have to start all over again. And I'm just noticing that as I get older, it's happening more and more often. I didn't go to my mom's birthday party. I could have. I didn't have the time off, but I could have made more of an effort. But I didn't because I was in a depressive episode. I missed out on a trip I was supposed to go with my cousins because I was depressed. I just couldn't. I just couldn't get on a plane. I just couldn't do it. I call in sick. Because I just can't do it. I just can't get up. Sometimes I lay in bed. Sometimes the happiest part of my day is going to bed. <laughs> as sad as that sounds. And then the worst part is waking up in the morning. And I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired. I'm exhausted by this. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> didn't think I was going to cry this much. I thought maybe a few tears here and there, but it's hard. I have no one to talk to about this. So this morning I was outside on my deck and uh, I just kind of put two and two together and I thought, you know what? I, I, I have to do something. And I was speaking to my friend whose daughter is sick and I wanted to see how she was doing. And I just sort of told her what happened, that I didn't go on the trip and I'm having a depressive episode. And she said, Lexapro, you got to get on Lexapro. And I know someone else who's on Lexapro and is having great success with it. And so I thought, well, how did he do that? Because I went to the doctor and I was hinting around that maybe I needed to go on depressants. And I even called a psychologist after that doctor's appointment because I really thought that maybe I have a mental problem. If it's not my hormones, if everything is normal, then I must have a mental problem. I must need to see a psychologist. And that psychologist called me back and said, I'm sorry, but I'm not taking any new patients. <laughs> and so that was that. And I thought, okay, well, that's a sign. I don't need to go down that road. It is hormones. It is what it is. So, you know, I this could have been two years ago. I could have nipped this in the bud, but I didn't. So I'm dealing with it now. And I'm going to try this Lexapro. I have an appointment on Friday morning. And my friend said, you just go in there and you be your own advocate. And you say, I want to go on Lexapro. You be honest and you tell them, I'm depressed. I keep having depressive episodes. And last night, you know, that it was a suicidal thought, but it was a fleeting thought. But that's three in the last 10 years that I can think of, and that's three too many. So if you're like me and you're in a situation where your life is perfect and there's nothing to be sad about, there's nothing to be stressed or anxious about, but you are, then you need to tell your doctor. And for so long, I thought, I don't want to go on pills. I don't want to have side effects. I don't want to have this and that. And it's beyond that now. 
I just want to be happy. I just want to go out and live my life. I don't want to be miserable. I don't want to make the choice. It, it, it's, it's such a weird thing because you, you want to be with people and you want to be social and you want to have this life, but at the same time, you want to be left alone and you don't want to do anything. It's just this weird trap. And that's how I feel. I feel trapped. And nothing makes me happy. I got some shoes today in the mail and I was happy for like five minutes. And I just got them and that's why I thought, you know, I'm gonna do this video. I'm not gonna cry so much. It's gonna be okay because of shoes. But that's fleeting. I'm, I'm back to where I was now. So I, I, I'm gonna do something about it. I'm gonna do something. And I hope if you're having these feelings too that you're gonna do something as well. So I will follow up with you on this. I'm going to do another video on goals and dreams because these, this situation is preventing me from my goals and my dreams. And I don't wanna live like that anymore. So it's time to make change and, and I'm gonna be assertive and I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna tell the doctor this is what's going on. I'm gonna be completely honest and I'm gonna see where it leads me because anything's better than this. And I'm sorry there's so many tears in this video, but I wanted to get this message out because I know I'm not the only one. And I know it's not just hormones. I can see a cycle of this my entire life and I just don't wanna do it anymore, I'm done. I wanna be happy. I just wanna be happy. Not because I have shoes or a handbag or whatever, I just wanna be happy. So thanks for listening, thanks for watching. And um, I don't know, let's make this the beginning of the rest of our lives, you know, of, of living the best life that we can. And I preach that so much, but I, I, it's just a realization that this is the new reality. And I'm very open about it. I'm very open-minded about it. I'm gonna go all in and see what happens. And I'll keep you posted, don't you worry. Thank you for watching. Good luck.